Science with Mr. Holmes. In this week's episode, that's just the way the ball bounces. This week, we're going to be taking a look at how three different balls bounce. Here, we have a large purple ball, and we're going to drop it and see what percentage it will bounce from its drop height. So, let's take a look there. That looks to be about, oh, maybe 40% of its drop height. It came down, it dropped up, maybe 40% of its drop height. Next, we're going to try the blue exercise ball. It's a lot harder and heavier. We're going to drop that, and look at that. It only bounced maybe an inch. Maybe it was 1% of its bounce height. Not that impressive as far as a bouncer goes, but it's a heavy ball, and let's try that again. Look at that, just a very, very small amount of a bounce. All right, on to the next one. We've got a red exercise ball. It's lightweight and squishy, and that one dropped and bounced probably about 30% of its height. Pretty good compared to the, ec the other exercise ball, but uh, not quite as high as the purple ball. Let's take a look at the golf ball. It's the smallest and the hardest, and let's see how that one performs. Look at that, that's probably about 60% of its drop height. Yep, that is the best bouncer right there, the golf ball. Now, let's see what happens when I throw it really hard. Oh man, oh, I'll get that one later. All right, well that's it. Drop and bounce, and that's the way the ball bounces.